the message I have this morning is coming from Luke chapter 18, first eight verses. So y'all can read that. This is where I'm motivated from. But it's also, um, it's just back in what I heard you all talking and praying for Sister Mason and others. And also something that happened the other day. So um, here it is. Because uh, like I said, this is me on me now this morning. Um, it's for the one who's determined uh, that the thing that you have been praying for is either too hard to pray for or not worth praying for anymore. Um, that the thing that you've been praying for that you thought was yours, now you're starting to feel is not yours. Or for the one who said, man, evidently my child is beyond the reach of my prayers. Mm -hmm. You may not say that, but some of y'all probably have felt that before. Mm -hmm. um, for yeah. someone who says, my medical condition has the doctors baffled, so why should I even pray for healing? Uh, for the one that says, man, my community has gone to crap and it's too dangerous, so why am I still praying for it? Times are only getting worse. Um, my wife checked me this weekend, y'all. She don't even know she checked me. Um, what she made me do is get by myself and go to the Lord in prayer. Um, we had uh, a couple of deaths over the weekend, over the last yeah. week. They found a woman uh, dead on the VA campus recently. Yeah. Don't even make the news. Um, and yet, we had another young person who went to school with my youngest daughter, mm. die violently in our neighborhood. Somebody killed him. Mm. Um, now, this kid didn't make the best choices in life, so I'm told. And so my wife comes to me and she's telling me this stuff because she just heard it from my daughter. And she's like, we need to get together and pray, you know, and... And out of frustration, my response was this, Terry. We have already been praying. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. well, that's the wrong answer. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, we've already been praying. What more What more should we do? And, and, and she was really upset with my response, and she should have been. Um, what I did was I allowed frustration and feelings of despair to take me there. The right response would have been to grab my wife by the hand, mm -hmm. to grab my daughter by the hand, and begin to pray. See, I'm not like some of y'all. Yes, I, I, yes, I ain't yes. like some of y'all. I'll let you know when I'm slipping. I'll mm -hmm. let you know when I'm messing up. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to tell you that I'm perfect, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to act like I ain't got no feelings. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to act mm -hmm. like I don't uh, that's right. That's right. Times and don't get, to get tired. I got that. I'm gonna let you know. Um, but listen, what we need to do is show some persistence. This isn't the first time I said this, y'all. Um, my word tells me that uh, in Luke chapter 18 that we should always pray. That's right. That's and right. Faint not. Mm. And faint not. Sometimes, Sister Kimbrough, a prayer is all we got. That's right. Um, right. In, in, in other subtle. words, in other words, this is coming from Jesus, y'all. Amen. We can't give up on our prayers. Amen. Um, Amen. Like I said, Amen. this kid, this kid, I don't remember. I've come across so many kids, but this kid evidently went to school with my youngest. Amen. Was one of her Amen. friends. Oh. And we need to, we need to show some persistence. So I want to tell someone this morning, persistence is powerful, especially in prayer. Yes, Persistent yes. prayer is powerful, y'all. Um, so when you look at Luke 18, we see this parable that Jesus was talking, and it's about this widow who, who would not give up, this widow who would not wear out, this widow who would not quit. And what she does is she goes and she pleads for justice over and mm -hmm. over and over again, I'm talking, she's pleading for justice against a corrupt judge. Mm -hmm. And at first, she was refused. Mm -hmm. And, and um, but in Luke um, 18 and five, he says, because this widow keeps bothering me, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I will see that she gets justice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As Jesus asked the question in this parable. He says, will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who yeah. cry out to him, this is his <laughs> cry out to him day and night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Jesus no. answers the question for him. So it's just, just in case y'all don't know the answer. Yes, it will. So as the Holy Ghost leads and inspires us, Sister Macy, yes, we have to pray and never give up. Never. But we also never. have to know and understand, and this is what I had to this is what I had to tell myself. In his time and in his perfect way, mm-hmm. for those who have persistent prayer, the Lord will answer. Yes, he will. So I want to just say that to somebody that's wondering, don't get tired of praying. Don't quit. I mean, you can get you can get tired of the situation, but be persistent. That's right. Go to the Father over and over and over again. When when these young people are getting killed in our communities, go to God again. Lord, please stop this. When your children seem to be getting worse, Lord, please step in. When, when trouble comes to your home, Lord, please fix this. Thank you. And just te- keep going over and over and over again. Because these are the words of Jesus who asked the question. That's the thing. That's the thing we need to understand. Yes. He says, will not God bring justice for his chosen ones? Mm-hmm. Cry out to him day and night. Mm-hmm. Night. That means Amen. this thing is a continual thing. Yes, Lord. So I ask you guys, um, I'm going to do what my wife asked me to do. I'm Amen. going to do it. And, and, and I, I didn't say nothing to you, but I apologize for my response to you. Um, in front of these people, I apologize for my response. My response came from a place of frustration and anger, truth be told. I'm so tired of the enemy yeah. running yeah. rough shot. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, I'm so tired of them snuffing out our children. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired of the decisions yes, that our Lord. young people are making. I'm mm-hmm. so tired of parents who aren't watching their children. Yes, I'm Lord. so tired of parents who haven't prioritized the life in Christ to our kids, and now we see the evidence of these things. I'm so tired mm-hmm. of the helpless. Oh my God. Mm. Go ahead now, say something. Yes, Lord. Of the helpless feeling of what we're doing is not working. Uh, I am. But what I have is I have a prayer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get somebody to pray with me this morning? Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. Father, we call out this morning. We cry out. Thank you, Lord. Before we ask for anything. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you because we know you hear us. Yes. 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 Cry out this morning saying thank you because we know yes, that you said that if we were staying, if we stay persistent in our prayers, that you will answer. Not in our time, but your time. Oh, yes, Lord. So we pray over our community Jesus. today. All of these communities that are connected to this call. Yes, Lord. Uh, we pray, Father God, for every neighborhood that's connected yes, to this call. Yes, Lord. Whether it's where they're standing or whether it's where they're from or whether it's places that they've been, Father, we ask that you would allow mm-hmm. your presence yes, to be Lord. felt. We ask, Father God, that you would begin to clean up the blood that's on our streets. Yes, mm. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. We ask, Father God, that you would save our children. Please, Jesus, please. We ask, Father God, that you would help our young adults. Yes, Lord. We speak against this murderous spirit that seems to be taking over in our communities. And and also, Father God, the the, the spirit of suicide that seems to be invading the minds of so many of our children, as I'm reminded over the past couple of weeks. 
Yes, Lord. Of the many suicides and suicidal actions that have taken place in this small community that I live in. But we know, Father God, that there is no sickness that you can't do. We know that there's no problem that you can't solve. And so what we choose to do as your children, as the called out ones, as your elect, as your ecclesia, yes. we're following your instructions that said we should yes, pray in God. faith now. Yes, God. So, Father, we recommit to prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Not just at six o'clock. Yes, God. But as the Spirit yes. unctions us yes. to call yes. on you, Father, because we believe yes, that you want to answer. Yes. our prayers yes. if there's any pain on this call yes. this morning yes. i pray Thank that you Lord. would ease it this morning that you would settle it yes uh, we pray father god for those yes. that are yes. that are mourning today yes. those that are struggling those that are feeling helpless in their circumstance in their yes. situation yes. yes lord i pray over the sick body this morning father god that you would heal yes. That you would provide divine healing in the matchless name of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. I pray for the one this morning who's also feeling yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Feeling, feeling unqualified, feeling ineffective, Father God. Thank you, Lord. When all we have is a prayer, Father God, I pray, Father yes, God, Lord. that you would hear you. our prayer. You said that your Thank eyes are you. open Please. to the righteous and your ears are open to Thank our cries. So this morning we cry yes. out. Lord Jesus, please show up on the scene and show up. Yes, we ask that you would also strengthen your servants to not get so frustrated that they are willing and ready to give up, but to hold on and continue to call out your name. And I actually, I actually have touched the one this morning that's under the sound of my voice and says, Lord, Lord Jesus, don't forget about me. I ask Father God that you would meet them right where they are. Thank you, Lord. Father, we'll continue to give your name all the praise, Thank you, Lord. all the honor, and all the glory. Yes, Lord. So this is my prayer in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Thank Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Amen. I, uh, I just asked you all that you uh, continue to pray with me. Yes, uh, Lord. Yes, yes. And, and, and continue to pray for me. Yes, Lord. Uh, Sister Mason, you ain't the only one. Um, I've been dealing with, with young people for decades. And um, it, gets, it, it gets frustrating sometimes when you see what's going on in these streets. Um, and, uh, I mean, I feel ineffective with old folks quite often, but it really it's really tough when you feel like what you're doing is not helping with young people. Um, but I understand that the problem that we have is not just my problem. And it's not a little problem. It's a God-sized problem that only God can solve. That's right. Um, that is right. Just, Thank you. just over this weekend, a guy I know had to bury his son. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and at the same point in time, my daughter comes and she talks about a classmate that gets murdered. Mm -hmm. and my daughter's only 22. Right. right. You know, um, and to hear of the many suicide stories that I'm hearing in our community of My Lord. young people telling their parents, you know, in music, how they plan, you know, that they're leaving or going over other people's houses. You know, a young person in his 20s talking about, I'm tired of this life. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they're no longer there. The enemy is all the way in the minds mm -hmm. about young people. Mm -hmm. And the only way to kill a lie is to tell the truth. That's right. That's so, right. Y'all need to understand. You know the truth. You need to tell the truth. But the only That's way to right. kill a That's lie right. is to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And there is nothing too hard for Jesus. That's right. So, Thank you, Lord. Um, you all have a, an amazing day. Know that Thank I love you. you. To my Thank rock family, I um, love you too. I know y'all didn't hear from me yesterday.